Welcome to AndroidVideoReview.net's video review of Quick Office Pro. I'm the Sherwinator, and today we're taking a look at this uh, utilities. I don't know what you call it. It's got word processing, spreadsheets, uh, PDF features, um, just really, I guess, like a utility uh, suite for your Android device. Um, I know my Droid X comes with Quick Office preloaded. Pretty sure it's just a basic version. I'm not positive. I've never registered it, but uh, I was able to get this, I think, last week on the uh, Android market, on the uh, Amazon market, excuse me. It was their free paid app of the day. And, you know, I think a lot of uh, the user, different users' experiences will be based on the type of phone you have more than the software. Um, their experience will be more relying on, you know, the type of phone they have, not on. Uh, the software itself because like my phone has no keyboard so I have to use a virtual keyboard and that obviously is very tedious for typing any type of documents for opening documents and viewing them and you know making quick edits it's not a big deal but if I really want to create like a document it's kind of a big pain um, so if you had a keyboard or if you had like a black you know a blackberry type uh, keyboard this would be a great program to use and either way, I mean, I, I think the program is fine. There's nothing really wrong with it. It allows you to open up almost any type of, like, Microsoft Office document that you can imagine. And it'll save it if you create a new one, like in the dot, .docx format and things like that. So I'm just going to take a quick walkthrough of just opening up a, um, let's say, a Word document. I'll show you the different options you have. And then you uh, basically will just give you an idea of what it comes with. So first you just click on it. This is the main screen can uh, go ver uh, landscape or hor uh, horizontal view, anything you want. Uh, let's see. You get these options. You can create a new document, go from an SD card, which is just basically saying uh, it's like their open command. You just hit the SD card and it'll search. It'll show you all your folders and you can select the document from there if you want to open a pre-existing one. Uh, recent documents will show you recent documents you're in and then on the bottom I don't know if how well you could see yeah, it's kinda hard you have some different options there and uh, you could search you can do all kinds of things check for information but um, let's just say create new document and here it gives me a choice of a Word document or a Word 97 to 2003 document so the top one is a dot doc X format and the bottom one is just gonna be a dot doc which is the original not the original, but it's uh, more, I guess it's still even more commonly used. It's just compatible with everything. It's an older format. But let's just go with the dot docx. It's loading. I think this is my phone, why it's loading so slowly. But this is basically it right here. So it's a what you see is a blank screen. Hit it. Your keyboard comes up. Nothing unusual there. And you can change the keyboard, you know on your uh, within your phone setting itself now if you hit the menu button which you can't really see you get this whole uh, choice of different options here like you would in Microsoft Office and then basically what you have here you can change the uh, let's see different fonts the font format you know your bold italics underline at this bad boy which I don't know why it's not working yet. Yeah, you have your options here to open the file, open a new document, save it or save as. You can pull up your keyboard. You could search within the document, but I haven't typed anything, so there's nothing to search. And let's see what else. I don't know why it's not. Oh, I have to exit the search. You have different other options here that you can play around with. Let's see. That didn't even do anything. I'm not even sure. I, you know, I, I have no use for a lot of these features. But uh, again, if you want to use just a regular, you, know, you can check info, properties, updates, about help. If you want to just use this for a regular, like quick edits, if you're on the run and you just need access to a program that can open up Microsoft Office documents, whether they're you know Excel, uh, Word, or things like that, maybe even PowerPoint or PDFs. This is definitely worth checking out. I think it's like, I don't know why I have a feeling it's $15 in the Amazon store if you didn't buy it for free uh, or get it for free last week. But um, 
you know, even if it did cost them money, I think it would probably be worth it if you're a business user. If you're not a business user, there's probably other options out there. But, um, you know, it, it seems like a relatively stable app, uh, application for me. And uh, I've never had a problem using this or the free version, really opening a document. Um, so Pro would be, you know, gives you access to all the documents that you'd want to open on your PC. You could open them on your phone. Um, con would be, again, it's just, it's not so much the uh, application itself, but your user experience will be based a lot on the type of phone you have rather than on, you know, it, it won't be the software's fault. Most likely it'll probably be your own phone's fault so uh that's something to consider um so i'm gonna give it a four and a half out of five great application uh even you know if you had to pay for it i think it's worth the money if you're a business user so definitely uh check back on our website androidvideoreview.net for upcoming reviews and we'll see you again soon